I do want to go back a little bit, but still in the spirit of looking toward the future, as we look at the passing of Senator Feinstein and what it means for California politics and national politics, Governor Gavin Newsom said that he would appoint a black woman to serve um, in her seat. Um, and Representative Barbara Lee, who's running for the Senate, has said and argued against the notion of a caretaker you know, being put um, into her seat, and it's insulting to the people who want effective long-term representation for African Americans in California. So I would like to know what is your perspective on the situation, and who would you like to see Governor Newsom place in that seat? Well, I th uh, Congresswoman Lee is a very dear friend. Her, her district is right next to mine. Uh, we work very, I have enormous respect. Uh, just another, like Senator Feinstein, uh, a real trailblazer in the standard of California and California women, along with Nancy Pelosi and others. Um, Adam Schiff is a dear friend as well. Katie Porter, I serve with on the oversight committee. Um, it, the rules say it's up to the governor. Uh, he did make that comment. Um, that was then, this is now. Uh, I don't have a preferred um, approach and I wouldn't, if, if I was asked by the governor, uh, I would give my advice, but I, I think he needs to be thoughtful. He's gone through this before, of course, um, when uh, then Senator Harris uh, became vice president. And then he appointed Alex Padilla, a very dear friend and colleague from the legislature now. So we had a lot of talented people. Um, with a lot of different background. Um, so I would support somebody who was in the model of Senator Feinstein in terms of her thoughtfulness. Uh, and then I think we do have to be mindful of the changing um, responsibility to have a diverse representative um, group from California and the state of California. There are a lot of talented people um, and they represent many different perspectives. Barbara, one of them, Adam, one of them, Katie, of course, one of them. So I don't have a preferred person. I've really been focused for a long time on respect for Senator Feinstein. And I was critical of people who asked for her um, resignation. We as voters knew how old Senator Feinstein was. We should have known, and many of us did obviously know that it was a six year term and her health conditions. So I've been more focused on that. Do you have anything else that you would like to add when it comes to Senator Feinstein's legacy or the other topics that we discussed today, like the shutdown? No, I, I, th I think the way out of this for this country is to um, model our behavior more based on role models like Diane Feinstein, who was tenacious, thoughtful, and always acted with dignity.